Okay, so this is the Athena bi-leveling track scissor lift. This is the eight and a half meter machine. This is the most unique elevating work platform on the market today, and you're about to see why. It's not in any danger of tipping over. This machine will operate on slopes of up to 20 degrees, front to, front to back and side to side. I'm just putting it in a worst case scenario so you can see the sort of angles that this little baby will perform on. Now the nice thing about this particular machine is it will auto level itself. So all I'm about to do is push the raise function. The auto leveling function is actually built in with the raise function. So before anything else happens, the machine will actually level itself before it goes up in the air. That's what it's doing at the moment. So this machine is extremely popular for most trades simply because it's very, very difficult to get a work site which is completely flat. Slab scissors won't operate. Rough terrain uh, units are too big and too cumbersome. The Athena is a perfect size for any work site that you care to go on. In its narrow set, this machine's only 1.2 meters wide, which is narrow enough to get between the house and the fence line. In wide set, it's one and a half meters wide. This particular machine you're seeing at the moment is an eight and a eight, eight meter machine. So that's an eight meter working height with my hands above my head. And that's at maximum height right at the moment. So I'll just come back down. Now this is the brand new model Athena with the, uh, with the new extendable deck. So this has a, a nice extendable deck which is very easy to push out. And as you can see it makes your working platform a whole lot bigger. This machine is two person rated, indoor and outdoors, and it has a 250 kilo load capacity. The deck is removable and it's also foldable. You can see here how we've got quick release pins. So to get through doorways, all you need to do is take the pins out, collapse the deck and drive it through. This machine, as you can hear, is, is powered by a, uh, a Hatz diesel engine. All Athena machines are dual powered. So this one is also 240 volt powered. So what that means is you can plug it into the wall and use it like a toaster on 240 volts, should you want to. Uh, for internal use, that's a great application if you do have a diesel unit, although we also have a lithium iron machine, which is good for internal and external, and that will operate purely on the battery settings. So I'm just gonna pull the deck in, and we'll put it through its paces in, in, some, uh, in some real life uh, situations here. So the nice thing about a track machine is it will go anywhere and do anything. There really isn't a work site that can challenge something like this. It will go through mud, it will go through water. Where everything else is bogged and work sites have to stop, the Athena can still be used. So I think anyone watching this video would agree that there is no other piece of access equipment that could possibly operate on a slope like this. This is the advantage of the Athena. So once again, all I'm going to do is push the self-raise button. The Athena will level itself automatically. When it's safe, the machine will raise up into the air. The machine is extremely safe. As you can see, I've got a bit, of, um, a bit of flexibility in the boom, but if you focus on the track system, the machine is absolutely sitting there, steady as a rock. So this machine is rated to Australian standards, AS14 18-10, 2011. 
I'm just going to bring the uh, machine back down now. Now you would have noticed the machine uh, stops when it's uh, nearly all the way down. That's a European safety anti-crush standard. So what that means is it allows you to look around to make sure no one's got their hands, fingers, anything like that under the machine that they shouldn't have. And that gives you a pretty good indication of the angle we were on. Just to prove to you that it's got a little bit more left in it yet, I'm going to manually override it. Let's just see how much further this has, this has got to go. So that's now maxed out as far as angle goes. So the angle we were on was probably about 16 degrees. This has got a 20 degree maximum uh, as far as angling goes. Now you'll notice straight away how, how low the machine is to the ground. Um, now, so on a work site that can cause a few issues, obviously. Not that the machine can't handle it. It's plenty robust enough to, uh, to be able to do whatever it does. However, the nice thing about this machine is you can raise it up and put it in the narrow set. So all I'm going to do is push the raise function on each leg. The machine's not going to tip over despite how odd it may look. So you'll immediately notice that we've all of a sudden we've got about 300 millimeter clearance underneath the machine. So for most work sites, this will allow you to get over any obstacle or any type of debris. The only difference between narrow set and wide set from a machine uh, performance perspective is in the wide setting, the machine will drive whilst I'm in the air. In the narrow setting, it won't do that because obviously that's not a safe practice, particularly if you're up on a gutter like you'll see shortly. So what I'm gonna do now is just come back down into the wide set of the machine, which is also kind of cool. If you've got one of these on a work site, all of a sudden you're going to become the most popular trader out there. So we'll just go back onto the uh, onto the ramps. Okay, so I'm just going to go through the same procedure as I did before. I'm not sure if you can see this from uh, from down on the ground but this is your raise button right here. So all I'm going to do to auto level this machine is push the raise function. As you can see, the machine is self leveling itself. As soon as it's safe, the machine will raise and go up in the air, just like what it's doing now. Now I won't go up all the way. As you can see, we're raised at the moment and we're in the air and we're on an incline. This is something that no other machine in the world will do. This machine will now drive whilst raised on an angle of around 16 degrees. Now the machine itself, as soon as the angle changes by more than one degree, the machine will automatically cut out, which is just done there. So now my only option is to come on down and re-level the machine. But this is ideal for car park ramps, tunnel work, anywhere you have an incline and you need to use a machine whilst raised, absolutely perfect application. The eight meter machine will not drive at eight meters in the air, it'll drive up to six meters in the air. Okay, so we've seen how the machine works on a front to back longitudinal perspective. Now you're going to see another one of the advantages of a track machine. To start with, the Athena can drive like a billy goat. So once again, try to do this with any other scissor lift on the market anywhere. I'm just about to drive up the gutter. You'll notice how easily and effortlessly it goes up. The other thing you'll notice is that you don't get a lot of bounce. That's primarily because the entire machine is in the confines of the track. I'll just come back off the other side and you'll see once again, 
no hands, you don't get a lot of swaying and swiveling in the boom. What I'm about to do now is come, and come straight towards you with one track up on the gutter. Sign riders would do this a lot, particularly uh, when you're in a streetscape. To start with, that's damn impressive. Once again, you're about to see the side to side leveling of the machine. So again, all I'm about to do is just push the raise function and let the magic happen. So it's leveled side to side, it's leveled back to front. And now we're up in the raise position again. Now that fun function is extremely handy for virtually any work site, particularly when you're outdoors. We'll just go up to full height. Look mum, no hands. For full effect, I'll just put the basket out as well. And as you can see, you've got a machine, one leg up, one leg down, basket all the way out. Who wouldn't want to be uh, operating one of these? In this configuration with one track up and one track down, for safety reasons the machine will not drive in the air. The machine has worked out that I've got one track up and that I've got one track down and has disconnected the drive function until I come all the way down. That's just the uh, anti-crush lowering engaging. Always travel uh, when you're driving the machine with the deck all the way in and locked. Just about lost the mic, we're all good. So now I'm just going to drive off the, uh, off the incline. Once again, set you down nice and easy. Now that was a uh, that was a reasonable incline, <clears throat> but let's just go to the maximum degree here. And just like on the uh, on the front to back basis, you can see exactly how much uh, leveling we have left with this uh, this mighty Athena. Right, I'll jump out of the machine now and we'll do a bit of a walk around.